there are many different ways to sample this and how I did it was instead of having the machine like the MPC increase the speed I increase the speed on the record so we hit play A charming, beautiful tune. All right, let's just get to the funky part. That's what we want. Now, the thing is, you make sure you EQ it up the way you want it ahead of time. My record player has a really good pitch correction. So, here we go. That is what I sampled at that speed. This is a Stanton turntable. The actual numbers are STR8 100 digital turntable, also called the straight 100. So we're taking analog record sped up out of this record player's digital output into the MPC 4000 to chop it. You want to try to make as many variations as possible. And what I found is that when you have the entire Amen break, when you try to do a tempo match, the BPM, beats per minute, some portions of it are faster than others. So, and you don't have to do it this way, but this is what I do. I find a portion of the break and loop that. And then from that, I extract the parts I want, silence sections, reverse regions, and so forth. And I'm just going to show you very quickly how we do that. So right now, you're looking at the full break, which you saw me record before. What you do, you if you're in trim, you can hit edit and you can discard the rest of it. Once you've discarded the rest of it, it'll look like this. We no longer have the extraneous parts we didn't need. Now another nifty thing that you might want to do is cut it up into regions. Go down to region, click the window button, and right. Now this sample, or the loop, or the trim area. We can break into 16, however many beats you want. What I do is I tend to break it into eight, right? And what happens is when you do that, you see the eight there. Then when you click BPM, you'll see the tempo. Now from the tempo, now the thing is, I actually want it to be 166 flat. And when it's 166 flat, what happens from the trim or the sample that you have? You click do it and it makes everything line up properly. Now what will end up happening is it'll look like this version five. Now version five you'll notice has 16 regions. And what happens is I first made eight regions and then just to get that 166 BPM, and then I went into here, into region, clicked window, and then changed this to 16. And when you click do it, what ends up happening is it looks like that. So now these are the different regions. And each of these is its own separate sound, which is great because now what you do is you click on edit. So let me just play it for you. That's the regular loop that we played earlier. But now when you go into the region, you can change all the different parts, like where you want the different parts to be. You can shuffle it up. So as you see on the top line, it's the one, two, three, four, all the way going, going across all the way to um, 16, part 16. But what you see I've done is I've rearranged the parts. 
So when you click do it, but anyway, just so we can see, it's giving us version 31, and now we can play this new version. And that's it. And there's actually a reverse in there because I did some other changes to it. So you manipulate the amen break into as many different versions of it as you can. All right, now what? Now we wanna put it in a program. <clears throat> right now I have, I've made many different programs already and each of them has a slight difference to it. But what you're gonna need to do on this screen that's important is <clears throat> I'm just gonna create a new program, just a new sequence, just so that you can see how this happens. So if we go to program, right now in this program, if I click assign in one, this is where I have my amens, right? The different versions. So were I to go to this pad and I could put, you know, the last one we just did, which was like 32, I think. Program. So if we go to eight, it's unused. We set the tempo. We know that the break that we just had was 166. So what should happen is if I just play this, it's going to re record it and it should be perfectly on time as long as I hit the pad at the beginning. So record, play. Okay, that just happened to be two bars. So let's listen to it. If I wanted it to be four bars, we could have done that, we could have recorded it. In any case, it's going to catch it at the right, it's gonna loop it at the right number. So, okay, we have that on track one, perfect. In track one of each sequence, I have a different drum beat. And then in track two, I have a different bass. And in track three, I have something else. So what I'm gonna show you now is how I have manipulated the Amen break using all of the features in the MPC 4000. And one last thing I wanna show you when we go into the trim edit. I just want to show you all of the different edits that you have. So you can slice a sample, all of you know this one. You can change mono to stereo, stereo to mono, time stretch, which can get funky. Um, merge, this helps. So does, um, I find joining samples, because then you can just put some, you know, a different amen to another one if you want. The real ones that I tend to use are the pitch shift, the reverse, so you choose a region like here, and you reverse a certain section or two, and silence, you cut out a section. So listen for those changes in the sequence that you're about to hear. Peace.
get what's going on now. MPC 4000, phenomenal machine. 